Hello YouTube, welcome to the dojo, you're here with Samurai Man, and today we have a very awesome Masterpiece MP22? Yes, 22 Ultra Magnus figure. And I'm really glad to own this guy, super excited to get him in stock. Uh, originally, he was a much higher price when he was first up for pre-orders a while back, so I did not have him pre-ordered. And then they lessened the price, and I was like, alright, I'll get on board with that. So I have him, glad to have him, glad I got him. Looks amazing, comes with a couple of little nice little knickknacks. First of all, we got his tech spec cards. Lots of high grades, except for two sixes. It's a D right there, six out of ten, that's a D. I don't know if Ultra Magnus would ever have a D, but apparently he does. Also, they've very much changed up the artwork on the card. Not a big deal, don't really care, but there you go. Cybertron City Commander Ultra Magnus, very cool. He also comes with nice little Spike and Daniel human figurines. Which is always appreciated. Here they are. He's gonna fall, I can tell. Hey! Yep, he fell. No, son! No! There we go. There you go. Nice little space commander suits. You can see, like, the size comparison there. It's pretty, uh, I'll be honest, it's pretty crazy. Oops, there you go. Flip out that. The size there is pretty immense. I feel like even this scales a tad off. I mean, they're barely bigger than the freaking tires, so. That's pretty a significant in size. It would it would take a while. He's just climb all the way up here, just get to the top. Yeah, I don't know if that works, but whatever. I don't I don't care that much. They're just whatever. It's nice that we have them, but I don't care about the scale for them. But there you go, two more little human people. So what's really cool about this figure is you can actually open up the top of his car. It's kind of awkward, but there you go. Got two little red seats. If you can see them, right there and there. Take your little human figurines. Just kind of set them up like they're getting ready to drive or sit or whatever and just plop them all in there is a little peg there so you can just like securely get them in it's a bit awkward just because you know it's not a door but there you go nice and secure and we'll be good to go nope, nope, nope. don't bend your foot there you go ultra magnus is taking them out not on the town let's close it all up it's all just tabs in together. It's all panels and such. If I can get it hook in there. There you go. There you go. And we're good. And you can see with inside the truck there is little Spike and Daniel on the either side. So that's a nice little touch. It's cool that you can have these guys there. There's a big old glare. So you can see them through this one. Nope, because that mirror is blocking them. But I assure you, they are there. So you can see there. Hey there, buddies. Hey there, guys. And it's nice and safe inside this battle war zoned uh, robot. So what's really nice is the tires are made out of rubber. Hopefully they're very durable and not just rubber, rubbery ABS. They are legit rubber. Because that can be an issue later on. But for now, only time will tell how well these bad boys will hold up. But they roll very smoothly. This tire is barely, you know, touching the floor. But whatever. Still rolls, you can see. Back and forth. Turns as well. There is a nice little turning segment here. Oh, there you go. So you can actually turn it. You just have to clear the tires through the uh, blue bits right here. Well, that's very nice done. And it locks in pretty well, so you don't have to worry about it always shifting. But that's cool. So you can turn it, actually. Back it up. Nicely done. Plenty of Autobot logos all around. We got some one, two. There's one up here. Pretty sure there's one on the other side. Lots of Autobot logos. This guy knows what team he's on. He wants everyone else to know it, too. As well as you can also take these missiles here. They're pretty accurate as well. Uh, the missiles are already very accurate, but you can actually shift them. They're on a couple of hinges. Bring them around, rotate this bit, and bring it forward. If you want to have it like that, you can have to do both of them the same way. Whatever you prefer, whatever you think looks better, doesn't really matter to me. I mean, I like to keep it standard position. Both is good, but this works, so I'll do it this way. This one's a little loose, but there you go. Bam, the missile does actually remove, so if you want to make it look like he's firing it, I'm sure well, if I can get it out. There you go. It's coming up. There you go. So yeah, it doesn't fire anything, but it does come out. So if you, I know there's plenty of people out there with crazy, you know, customizations and stuff. They'll probably have some sort of set where they'll have this being held up. They'll probably crazy, like, customize the tip so it looks like it's got flames and smoke coming out like it's firing. Look at the base. I wouldn't doubt if someone out there is going to do it. So I could see why they would make removing it an option even if it doesn't fire. But I can appreciate that. That's pretty cool. 
His blaster does nicely store in vehicle mode right here. You can see it's at the top there. So that way you have somewhere to put it. I appreciate the nice storage. Doesn't look like it intrudes on the vehicle mode too badly, so I can live with it. And uh, let's see what else we got going on with this vehicle mode. So, Ultra Magnus' alt mode is a car carrier, so what that means is you can bring in your other Masterpiece or whatever vehicles. I just prefer Masterpiece because they're the most aesthetically pleasing to go with Ultra Magnus. They're with the same line. So the aesthetics are still the same, the size scale is the same, so why not? But, I mean, any car will work. But, as I was saying, come around to the back, go ahead and back them on up. See he's got these little panels here, just flip them down. Go ahead and get one guy, roll him on up. Oh, oops, I forgot one part of my transformation here, actually. <laughs> Oops. Uh, there you go. This actually needs to do this. Hey, now it's a little more flush. Now you can't tell so much. But there you go. Bring him on up. I believe it goes this far. Is it in here? There you go. That works for me. So you lock him on up there. Bring this piece down. Bring it, split that there. Bring it on down. Just rolling on up. Again, weird noises. I don't know what I'm doing. And it doesn't really roll too much, but it doesn't matter. Go on, bring them on up here. And tab it all together. Let's see where those tabs at. There you go. And just put them wherever. Doesn't matter. Somewhere where he's going to be flush. And bam! He's carrying some Autobots. So I got you, brothers. Get you off that battlefield or bring you into it. Doesn't matter. Cool functions. I like that. What more can you ask for? And a nice another little treat is you can actually flip them around. Bring them to the back end. You can see his face right there. Push this little tab in and you can detach the truck from the rest of the trailer. The cab from the trailer. Put this off to the side or whatever. Bam! We got a little uh, OP. Optimus Prime right here. A little white version. Very cool. I do like this. Nice little feature. Lots of red on this guy now. All the blue's gone, so it's just red and white. I know a lot of people complained about the red bumper. I think that looks fine. I don't have an issue with it. It's accurate to the show. It just looks cool in general. Red and white look really well together, so no, no issues. Uh, I'm sure third parties will make another bumper just because people have been complaining about it a lot. I won't be getting it if they do, just because, like I said, I have no issues with this. The only thing is I don't know how you replace this because I feel like it have to be a replacement piece. If anything, I'm sure Repro Labels would come out with something. But like I said, not interested. I think this is cool. So very nicely done. Nice little cab. It is a lot lighter than the actual Optimus Prime figure. It's not like they both weigh the same. That one had die cast and it was a complete robot. This part's just the chest, I believe. It's the chest and the back and the head. That's it. Everything else is here. This is everything else. Actually, the chest is here. So this is pretty much the back and the head. So to transform this guy, you can do it with the whole thing combined into one set. There's no issue there, but doing this on camera for me is going to be a little challenging. So I'm going to go ahead and just like start with the trailer and kind of work my way from there. And then just start by splitting this up, get the cannon out of there. Like I said, you can totally transform him completely with the, ca the cab attached. I just don't want to. Right now at least. So we'll start by taking this panel here. It's pretty intense, but what you want to do is it's kind of complicated. Actually, I'm doing it wrong. That's why it's complicated, but push it inward. Flip it up. That's going to be important later. It's just a nice little detail that they added, actually. You'll see. And then do it on both sides. Flip it up. And what we're going to do, let's see. Where should I go from here? Go ahead and bring this around like this. Fold those, those bits down. And what we're going to do is take off this bit here. Also detach this. Untab it all. And we're going to go ahead and fold it up. Bring it around. Fold it like that on both sides. There you go. So pretty much we're going to form the whole arms and legs with this section and then the cab will form the head and back and most of the torso and then we got like pretty much a chest plate here and that's how that's going to go. So go ahead and bring this about and we'll bring it up actually. What we're going to do here, rotate the feet forward. Actually what we need to do before we do that is you can see these giant hollow gaps right here. What we're going to do is rotate these bits downward. They're pretty solid. Fold them on up like that. That comparts them away. There you go. Have it like this. Actually, yeah. Have it like this. Fold the arms back. Just get them out of the way. All that long junk. Have that all out of the way. Rotate this whole section up. And the feet are pretty much done. Now, what's interesting is what you can do is we actually have rubber tires here. Legit rubber tires. If you want to leave that, it's fine. What's pretty interesting is you can actually take it, pull it down, rotate around. 
and have fake tires just to make it a little more screen accurate that he doesn't have just giant tires. So I love that they gave you the option. I'm going to go ahead and transform it just like that just because I think that does actually look a little better. I like the more cyberness net. Cybernessness. I don't know how to, what, what even word I'm trying to say, but the more robotic look of the tires when they're fake. But I do like that. Nice little attention to detail there. So from there, let's see. We'll go ahead and where do I want to go from here? We'll go ahead and flip down this bit, this whole crotch bit, and there, done. I don't think it's oh, there you go, tabbing in right there. Good to go. Take the arms, and what we're gonna do is untab this and bring around this whole section here. And that's gonna go right in there. Just to compress the arm up, that's pretty cool. Look how much smaller it got. Didn't have to freaking slide or anything. All it was was one whole section just rotating upward and clipping in. And it just compressed everything. And I love that, that's a nice little touch. So again, bring it up. There you go, bring it back around. And look how much smaller the arms just got. That's pretty cool. Next up, we're gonna take these bits here on the shoulders. Bring them around, double hinge them, clip them in, and clip them in. Done with that. Bring up this section, rotate it around, bring down the missile, just compress it all. Bam! Same thing with this side. Bring it around. Bam. Lastly, we're going to take up this arm, this, well, these guards on the arm. Again, look really nice with their big chunkiness. That'll fill in these gaps here. Rotate, not rotate, but bring them up on their hinge. And then, bam. So, we've got this whole torso section pretty much transformed. So, if Optimus' trailer transformed, this is what it would look like. Let's bring in the uh, cab now. So, bringing in the cab, we're going to start by opening up this top panel. Just to get it all separated. And what we're going to do is split these panels here on the side. And then just rotate them for now. I can get them. Actually, first we're going to get this out of the way. Then we'll rotate that downward. Have it down like that. Do it on both sides. And you'll notice that you can leave Spike and Daniel there. Not going to affect anything with the transformation. But next up, bring this whole section around. Flip around. You see the chest is there. But before we do that, rotate. Oh, there he goes. He fell out. Go ahead and rotate around the smokestacks. Get those out of the way. Whereas Optimus Primes, you just push them down. These ones you actually rotate down. So have it like that. We got this whole thing going on. It's a, it's a whole thing. It's a thing. Next up, we're going to compress this. It's on a double hinge. There you go. Fold in the tires. They're kind of hard to do, but you just want to put some pressure. And then just, let's see. There you go. There you go. And then make sure they clip in. Nice and clipped in. Tires are gone. Good to go. Bring this whole section downward. That'll conceal everything. And we got this flap here. Fold this up. Rotate his head around, and the head's pretty much now. We got pretty much everything done there, and let's just combine it all. Like I said, you could do it with it completely transformed with the vehicle mode, or you could separate it like I'm doing. This to me is just for camera purposes, makes it a little easier. Bring it on in, clip it all back together. Actually, I'm clipping it backwards. What am I doing wrong? Oh, oops, so I'm supposed to do it like this. So, yeah, bring it like that, and then just clip it in the same way the cab came off, put it back on exactly the same. There we go. There we go. He's on. He's secured. I got him. Locked and loaded. Just clip everything together now. There you go. That's all clipped in. Bring his head forward. It's on a slider on the neck right there. Makes it a little more clean looking. And now we're just going to attach everything. Just clip it all together. Bam! He's good to go. So just taking a look at him. He is impressive. This is why we collect Transformers. This is beautiful. I would have never imagined owning a Masterpiece Ultra Magnus. Just because I never thought they would be able to figure out how to do it like this. And one last thing I'm noticing. Bring around the shoulder joint. There you go. Make it a little more clean. There you go. Now the shoulders look a little more lined up. Bam! Mm. It's all about them shoulders with this guy. That's huge. Love it. Beautiful. Oh! I can just gush about this guy all day. His weakness is obviously, you can just tell by looking at him, articulation. It's there, but it's... Interesting. It's not it's not like bad, but there's just some things where it's like, okay, well, I can understand why. Just because going going over it, his shoulders you can bring them it's the same thing with the with the Optimus Prime's articulation where they have the kind of like skeletal inner joint there, you can already see it coming aside. So you can use that to bring his arm up a bit. It's kinda hard, it's like really in there. 
like there you go it's hard to work with sort of but it's got a couple of hinges and joints in there that you can kind of work with just to get his arm up there you go it's not gonna go too much but look how big his shoulders are what do you expect he's got pillars on his arm you can see how that works it does go forward and back you can bring it up one click and down like two but why would you bring it down so there's that not an issue i don't mind i really don't mind i think that's fine his elbows do have a beautiful nice clickety clackety ratchet as well as swivel at the bicep so there's nothing wrong with anything there even his missiles have some rotation and hinges and such plenty going on there his wrist are actually on a ball joint because you do have swap out fists for another use and i'll show that in a sec but right now we do have basic joints thumb doesn't move finger has two joints you can bring it up and then oh, actually you know what this finger only has one joint interesting usually they have two but then the rest of his fingers are just one giant claw so that's how the fingers work again they are on a ball so you can rotate them kind of again there's like all this mass here but it's accurate so i can't complain looks cool too nice little armor very gladiatorial head has got plenty of movement up and down around all that good stuff nothing to worry about there no waste there's absolutely no waste so i'm sorry for all those people who wanted it but it's not there just due to transformation there's just no waste that's unfortunate you can bring out let's see if we can bring this arms out a little bring those out there you go and then you can bring out the legs make a bit of noise but it's whatever um you're not going to get quite the balance you want but again why would you need this pose but there is die cast at the feet so that's good because there is a lot of mass on this guy. So there is die cast at the feet. So you can bring his arm, his legs out. You can bring him back. You can go all the way forward and back. You can see ratchety, ratchety goodness. Uh, knees, again, with those ratchets. You can bring him back. Plenty. Like he's getting ready to kick a ball or something. I don't know. But he's doing it. And it's here. And I love it. I just I love it. It's so beautiful. So well done. And I guess that's that for the articulation. I don't think I missed anything. Like I said, it's pretty limited, but there is still enough, I feel. I really don't have an issue with the articulation. There's not, like, crazy, crazy dynamic poses you need to do with this guy. He's not freaking flying off of anything, really. I mean, he's not much of a flyer. But there's that. He does have his hip skirts. They do move to go with the legs if you need to. Or if you make him want to look a little more dynamic, you can just flip him out like that. And, whew, he is beautiful. Like I said, die cast here. I think he's got die cast antennas. I'm not too sure. I think that's the only die cast on him. So you can open up his spark chamber. Just grab this blue bit, flip it up, and then open up these center windshields. There you go. Split that all open. And it does cover up his face when you do it, but look at that inner workings. Oh, my gosh. That is beautiful. That is some molded and painted detail right there. Love this design and all the mechanics and panels and such. Got some pistons and wires. Phew! And there's just a nice little hollowed out spot right there. I wonder what they can go in there. So, if you do have the MP10 Optimus Prime in any of its forms, you can take the Spark, the, what am I saying, Spark Matrix of Leadership and put this right in his chest. I just kind of don't want to just because I haven't done it yet. And I feel like it's going to be just as hard as it is with Prime to get it out. There you go. Ain't she a beaut. Woo! That is beautiful right there. That is fantastic. Go ahead and close that up. Get it all in there. Oh! It's beautiful. You can see it through this crimsony rose clear plastic. Oh, look at that. Oh, he is rocking that. He's got more than one function with that matrix, I'll show you. So, I was right, it is actually pretty hard to get that matrix out of his chest, but I finally got it out. And, like I said, there is one more function. Go ahead if you want, you don't have to, but go ahead and split open the arms and kind of just like get that junk out of the way, just to make it easier. Because what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of those fists, swap them out. And I just need to get some room in there because it's on a ball joint. And it's a tough ball joint. And yeah, like I said, that just to get the space. Take this fist here. It is a bit rubbery. Ooh, I can't even see it. This fist here is a bit more rubbery than the other plastic, but it is made to look like he is holding the Matrix like he was in that one scene in the movie. Where he's like, open sesame! And then it doesn't. But you, you, got, you got what I'm going for. You're going to do that on both sides. There we go. One fist down. Bring that one around. 
Again, I just need some space, so... Just, it's, I'm sorry, it's not you, Magnus. I just need some space. And there we go. Just put it open. There you go. Take the other fist before I actually put in the wrong fist. I don't want to actually put the same fist back in, because then... What a waste of my time, right? There you go. Goes in, fits like a glove. As it should. Because, you know, it's a, it's a hand. There you go. So you got these fists in here. What you want to do is take the matrix... And I'm trying to remember how to get this. There's just slots in the fist. There are grooves that are cut out. So you just go ahead and push the matrix in there. And then just line them up. Ooh, not like that. I'm trying to remember how they did this because it's just like his hands don't move so much. So it's like, how did they bring them together? We'll figure it out. So now there is actually an alternative head sculpt. So if you want, you can swap it out just to perfect the scene you want to go for. So to start with that, we'll go ahead and just split open his head. I love the way they're doing the new split opening head systems. Like before, it was like you had to unscrew a bunch of screws, and now it's just like, okay, pop it off. There you go. And that's so much easier. I appreciate that, that they found a way. And there is the G1 toy head sculpt that they were going for. A little homage to that. Because back in the day, back when they did the G1 Ultra Magnus, all it was was a white Optimus Prime wearing the trailer as armor. So that's what they're going for here, and I really appreciate that. I think that's really cool. It doesn't look exactly like it, obviously. Like, his prime head is a little different. Like, I, I don't know where I've seen this, but it's it's not exactly the same as Optimus' prime's head. It's a little different. But that's what they're going for, so go ahead and take the front head helmet part, and just, there's a little peg in the back of the head, a little peg hole in the face. Swap it out. Very gladiatorial looking. Put it back in. I can... Lining up. There you go. You, you, there you go. Now it's in all the way. Just push it all back together. And we've got a we got a rager. Let me just find the, the hole. Yeah, 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 there it is. There it is. Now I got it. There you go. So that's pretty much the only pose you're going to get out of that. I mean, you could just leave the face like that if you really want. If you're just you're feeling that face like, oh, you're feeling that screamo face. You do what you got to do, but that's pretty much all it's there for. And that's nice. That's a, that's a very iconic scene in the Transformers movie and lore. So it's cool that we can reenact it. And this lighting just makes it look so much crazier. It's like, oh. Yes, he's holding up his championship title belt. Even though he's going to pass it on to his little buddy, uh, Hot Rod. So you can see Ultra Magnus here is trying desperately to get that Matrix to glow. And it's not quite working out. Hopefully there's someone down the line that can go ahead and give that Matrix a whirl. I mean, I'm sure some young Autobot Spark will show up and show this Matrix what he's made of. But, unfortunately, it's not Ultra Magnus. We'll see. I don't know. I, don't, I can't see the future. But I'm sure someone can uh, bust that thing wide open and uh, save the universe and such. So the last little accessory to come with them is this awesome blaster <coughs> cannon thing. And it looks great. I love the detail on it. I love the color. It's actually a very nicely done kind of off-gray lavender color. And it's tickling me in all the right places is the best I can put it. So, standard, standard procedure. Just get the fist... Kind of hard to get in with these armor guards, but again, same little tab system as all the rest. Get it on in there. Oops. Get on there, nice. Hey, come on now. Come on. Not the easiest system, but for some reason they like doing it for their masterpieces. The tabby system. There it is. Got it. Got it. Come on, close. Get those mighty fists close. There you go. So, I think this looks not too bad with that face on. You can, ooh, you could, you could see it. There it is. Yeah. So I got the screamo face going like, oh, getting you Decepticon! Like he's just flying off the handle, missiles are blazing, fire everywhere, just ready to tear up a con in half. And just uh, get him in a pose. Uh, come on, do do do. Missiles fire, like he is just ready to go ham on the Decepticons. He's ready to go off and just tear it up. Like, get your ass in gear, everybody. We're taking on 
the cons. So here we have the Autobot Commanders in action. We have Optimus Prime, Rodimus Prime, and Ultra Magnus. This is a fearsome team. I am loving these Masterpiece figures. So amazing. I'm so glad to own them. I cannot wait for this line to keep going. There are rumors that MP27 is going to be Ironhide. And there's going to be an MP20 something. Is it, It's either 26 or 29. 28 or something. I don't remember, but it's going to be tracks. Again, these are rumors, so hopefully those will be fulfilled. I would love to have an MP Ironhide. That'd be awesome as hell. Tracks will be amazing as well, also, just because I just got in uh, KFC's Blaster. They're in Masterpiece version, so they're a nice little duo. But either way, still, it's a great lineup. Uh, they, I cannot wait for these Autobots to continue. Wouldn't mind to have some more Decepticons, but whatever. I'll take what I can get for now. Again, like I said, Decepticons be cool. Right now, if I were to get another Decepticon, let's see, I would love to have one that's not made. I mean, there's plenty that I need to get, but one that's not made. Um, that's actually kind of hard. Um, wow. I'll think about you on that. So here he is next to Grimlock as well, and you can see that he is still much bigger than Grimlock, and Grimlock is wearing the extensions from the... Fans Toys Scoria. So, yeah, he is a behemoth when it comes to the robot modes. He is quite big. I don't know if that's accurate. I'm pretty sure Grimlock will be at least the same size. I'd have to rewatch. I don't remember. But there you go. There's a little size comparison for him as well. He is the biggest MP to date. We'll see how it is with Star Saber. I'm pretty sure he's going to be pretty big also. So, see how that goes. So, overall, this is an amazing figure. Great size. Great feel to it. Decent amount of articulation. Could have had a little more joints added here and there, but not bad. Love the Autobot logos, they're all grooved and raised up and stuff like that, so that's nice. You can put the Matrix in him as well, that's amazing. He's got a lot of swappable pieces, good. Comes with the Spike and Daniel figure, nice. The weapon accessories, really cool looking. A lot of show accuracy on this guy, it's pretty much spot on. Again, another one of those guys that just jumped right out of the TV onto my shelf. Transformation is simple, yet fun. I don't feel like it's hard at all. It's just nice and smooth. Some pieces you fiddle with, but I mean, when do you ever not? Uh, and that's pretty much it. I, I really recommend this guy. If you can somehow get your hands on him and you have a masterpiece line going, go for it. For me, my next uh, masterpiece I'd love to have would be Sunstreaker, just because he'd look great with the collection. Another first wave Autobot. And, you know, I'll, I'll, you know, we can talk about that more later. It doesn't really matter. But Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you want, go ahead and follow me on Tumblr as well as Twitter at Macation and Instagram at Mecca's of Iron Heart. You find all my purchases, uh, updates, pictures, whatever, little sets I make, just whatever's going on in my life. It's all gonna be up there. So anyways guys, thanks for watching and until next time!